Hello students, welcome back to the IFS. This is Rohit Muranjin. So in today's session, we are going to discuss one of the most important topic from complex analysis, namely singularities of the functions. Okay. So let's try to understand in detail. Okay. First, we'll start with the definition. Then later we'll see uh, classification of those singularities. Then problems. So likewise, in three sections, we are going to conduct this session. So let's begin without further delay. So we'll start with the definition of singularity. What is singularity? Okay. So in simpler language, we can say function f is uh, f z is failed to be analytic. Okay. Suppose I have some function f z, okay, which is defined on C. If this function fails to be analytic at particular point, let's say z zero. If this happens, then we say z zero is the singularity of f z. Okay. Z zero is called singularity of f z. When do we say when this f z fails to be analytic? Okay. So for example, if I define this function f z equals to let's say sine of 1 by z okay and if i consider z equal to 0 you will see at this point function fz is not analytic in fact it is not even defined at that point okay so that's why we say function fz is uh, fz has a singularity at z0 equals to 0 all right so this is the singularity now let's uh, try to understand what are the classification so mainly uh, singularity classified into two categories firstly isolated and secondly, non-isolated. When do we say singularity is isolated? If in its neighborhood there is no other singularity, doesn't matter how how small you consider your neighborhood. If there is no other singularity other than z zero, okay, then we say singularity is isolated. Okay. If suppose there is some another singularity in the neighborhood of z zero, then we say z uh, z zero is a non-isolated singularity because it is not alone. Okay. So you can consider this as z0 is alone in its neighborhood isolated z0 is not alone in its neighborhood it is non-isolated okay as simple as that now isolated is further classified into two uh, three categories okay namely removable pole and essential okay now uh, question arises in your mind how one can distinguish how one can identify uh, whether it is removable whether it is pole or whether it is essential so there is a uh, some test to uh, check whether these singularities are removable pole or essential now uh, one more non isolated is further classified into essential now they go uh, essential is appearing in isolated as well as in uh, non isolated now we will see later on how one can distinguish whether it is isolated essential or non isolated essential okay so let's move ahead and talk about this individual definition isolated as well as non isolated all right this is the definition of isolated singularity if there is no other singularity in a neighborhood of z0 then we say z0 is isolated if it is alone it is isolated okay now let's try to uh, understand sub classification of the similarities okay we have already seen the very first types of isolated singularity and first in that is removable singularity okay so if limit f z tends to z0 f z exists finitely then z0 is called removable singularity okay isn't this simple simply uh, simply you uh, find a limit of fz as z tends to as z approaches towards z0 if it exists finitely then we say z0 is removable okay let's move ahead and talk about next type of singularity of isolated singularity next is pole if limit z tends to z0 fz exists infinitely okay if limit fz uh, turns out to be infinite okay then uh, z0 is called pole okay then with this singularity this singularity is called pole now let's try to look at another uh, type of isolated singularity namely essential singularity okay if limit z tends to z0 fz does not exist okay finitely as well as infinitely okay means what limit z tends to z0 fz its answer is not finite some k finite or it cannot be infinity okay if this is the case then we say uh, singularity is essential okay this answer is not finite as well as infinite in fact it does not exist okay so we'll write this like this z tends to z0 fz does not exist if this is the case then we say singularity is essential all right so these are the three uh, subcategories of isolated singularity all right so let me erase all this now one more uh, thing you can notice here uh, and limit point of zero is always essential singularity okay 
limit point of zeros is always essential singularity okay and that's what i have written in another uh, line as well now let's try to understand in detail what is non isolated okay so you will see that non isolated singularity if limit z tends to z0 fz does not exist finitely as well as infinitely z at z0 0 okay is called essential singularity okay so same definition and limit point of poles okay one thing you must notice we have seen what is isolated essential singularity this is limit point of zeros all right zeros means what numerator of fz so isolated essential singularity is a limit point of zeros but what is non isolated essential non isolated essential is limit point of poles okay this is the difference between uh, isolated essential and non isolated essential okay so most of the student get confused in these two definition but don't get confused as simple as that limit point of zeros is isolated essential and limit of points of poles is non isolated all right if this is fine then uh, let's talk about next let me erase this all okay great now let's talk about what is residue so residue at a particular pole is fined by this formula if z z is equal to z0 is a simple pole of fz then the residue of fz at z0 is denoted and defined as so this is how we define if I have simple pole, then this is the definition of residue. All right. Now let's move ahead and talk about uh, problems. Okay. So we have discussed up till now what is singularity, what are the different classification of singularity. Now let's directly jump on the problems. Okay. So this problem uh, has been asked in exam, previous year exam. You can see here. All right. So problem number first at z equal to zero, function fz equals to let me write a function again fz equals to what they have given e to the power z plus 1 upon e to the power z minus 1 all right and if i look at the option you will see that removal singularity pole essential and none of the above so we just have to identify singularity all right so how one can identify singularity i am going you a one uh, shortcut simply what do you do uh, you identify the denominator and equate it to be zero okay simply if i equal it to be zero and whatever the solution of this denominator you will find okay you will uh, work on those singularities okay let's understand this e to the power z minus one equal to zero means what this is same as e to the power z equals to one but what is one one is nothing but e to the power two n pi i where for n is our integer it can be any integer all right so if i compare on both sides i will see that z is nothing but two n pi i where what is n n is any integer okay so these many similarities i'm going to get okay so these are the similarity but we do not know still whether it is pole whether it is removable whether it is essential we have to identify okay so let's identify so how one can identify simply if you look at limit z tends to 2 n pi i okay so what is going to be the answer of this fz we have seen if uh, answer of this limit is finite then we say it is what removable if it is infinite then we say it is pole okay and if it does not exist then we say essential singularity okay so let's try to identify this limit limit z tends to 2 n pi i what is fz e to the power z plus 1 e to the power z minus 1 substitute the limit e to the power 2 n pi i okay plus 1 upon e to the power 2 n pi i minus 1 and what it is this is 1 plus 1 upon 1 minus 1 2 upon 0 means infinity and it is infinity means what z equals to n 2 n pi i r poles okay how many poles these are these are infinitely many poles because n is running over integers okay so it will have infinitely many poles so if i look at the options or for uh, b option is going to be correct so c option has to be discard okay we are going to check at zero so let's try to check at zero as well so suppose if i put n equal to zero then this uh, z is also become zero so what happens at zero see uh, likewise at point 2 n pi i at z zero equal to zero all m f z is equals to what limit z tends to zero e to the power z plus one e to the power z minus one if i substitute uh, the value this is e to the power zero means one plus one two upon one minus one will be zero so again limit is infinity infinity means pole okay 
so at uh, 0 as well as 2 and pi i they are going to get poles okay but they have only asked on at the point 0 okay so 0 is a pole well, is it essential if it is pole how can it be essential it cannot be essential is it removable it's not even removable so it is pole that means what option b is correct okay option b is correct now see most of the time uh, whatever point they have given and once we find it is pole they uh, they might ask for the residue okay and how one can find the residue let me erase all this if you want to uh, check the residue you also can check the residue at particular point what is the formula for residue residue of fz at z0 is nothing but limit z tends to z0 z minus z0 fz this is the formula to find residue okay they have not asked uh, in this question to find residue but anyway we are going to find because question can be asked on a residue okay so let's try to find residue as well residue of fz at 0 what is the formula limit z tends to 0 z minus z0 is 0 into fz whatever fz they have given limit z tends to 0 z into what is fz e to the power z plus 1 upon e to the power z minus 1 now see if i substitute direct limit z numerator becomes 0 denominator e to the power 0 minus 1 again 0 so 0 by 0 form are so what we'll do we'll apply l hospital rule l hospital rule all right now what we'll do simply uh differentiate numerator as well as denominator so how one can do so limit z tends to zero derivative of numerator so what is derivative of remainder this is my numerator na? So first function we know that if i have multiplication function and we have to find derivative of that this is nothing but u v dash plus v u dash isn't it so this is how we are going to find derivative so this is my u and this is my v all right so let's uh, differentiate the numerator what i'm going to get z okay derivative of e to the power z plus 1 will be what e to the power z now plus this uh, derivative of this function derivative of z will be 1 and this function is going to be as it is now let's look at denominator derivative of denominator will be what e to the power z and minus 1 derivative of minus 1 0 okay so this is what we got now you can substitute direct limit this term becomes uh, 0 directly and limit you can see them z tends to 0 of e to the power z into z plus limit z tends to 0 e to the power z plus 1 upon limit z tends to 0 e to the power z if i substitute limits now see what i'm going to get this is 0 this is e to the power 0 plus 1 means what 2 upon 1 so residue is going to be simply 2 okay so we have also found residue they have not asked but uh, they might ask in questions okay the question can be framed to find residue all right so hopefully this question is clear to all now uh, let's try to move ahead and talk about one more uh, interesting question this is very interesting now let's look at what they have given so we have given nice function fz z minus 2 by z square sine of 1 minus z minus 1 okay very interesting question now let's look at options so whenever you are solving question let's uh, first look at the option what they have asked then you will get a particular approach okay approach is very important in solving problems okay so let's try to uh, tackle this question so first you try to uh, find singularity okay what is the singularity the point at which function fails to be analytic is called singularity so what are the points in this case you will see whatever this uh, function we have in a denominator equated to be 0 okay i have told you in previous question as well whatever you see denominator equated to 0 whatever the solution of the denominator you will get that to be singularity okay so in this case z square is my denominator okay numerator is z minus 2 into sin 1 upon z minus 1 this is my numerator but what is my denominator simply z square so if i equate z square equal to 0 i'm going to get z equal to 0 is a solution of order 2 means what multiplicity 2 so this is the pole of order 2 okay if there is no other uh, zeros at 0 in a numerator then we directly claim z0 is a pole okay because what happens if we get uh, z equal to 0 is a 0 in a numerator and pole in a denominator then it will get cancelled in a way okay we will see such problems 
एनीवे बट इन दिस केस जेड इक्वल टू जीरो इज एपरिंग टू टाइम्स ओके दैट्स वाई जेड इक्वल टू जीरो इज अ पोल ऑफ ऑर्डर टू ओके होप यू होपफुल यू गॉट वाई इट इज पोल बिकॉज इफ यू लुक एट दिस लिमिट जेड टेंस टू जीरो एफ जेड यू विल सी इट इज डायरेक्टली इक्वल टू जीरो ओके सॉरी इन्फिनिटी दैट्स वाई वी क्लेम फंक्शन एफ जेड हैज अ पोल एट जेड जीरो ऑफ ऑर्डर टू ओके एनी वे नाउ वी गॉट अप टिल नाउ एट जीरो वी हैव पोल ऑफ ऑर्डर टू ओके सो दैट्स वाई फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज इन करेक्ट एंड सेकेंड ऑप्शन हैज टू बी करेक्ट ओके सो अप टिल नाउ वी हैव टैकल ओनली टू ऑप्शन ओके नाउ लेट्स ट्राई टू लुक एट वॉट कैन वी से अबाउट सी एन डी ओके वट कैन वी से लेट्स लुक एट वंस अगेन इन सी एन डी दे आर ट्राइंग टू आज इसेंशियल सिमिलरिटी एंड द लिमिट पॉइंट ऑफ जीरो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट इज माई जीरो इफ आई लुक एट जीरो मीन्स वॉट न्यूमरेटर सो वेन डू वी से फंक्शन हैज ए जीरो इफ एफ ऑफ जेड इक्वल टू जीरो एंड द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन आर कॉल्ड जीरोज ओके सो वेन डू वी से एफ जेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो वेन एवर इज न्यूमरेटर जीरो ओके वट इज माई न्यूमरेटर न्यूमरेटर इन दिस केस इज जेड माइनस टू अपॉन जेड स्क्वायर साइन ऑफ ओके दिस इज नॉट माई न्यूमरेटर साइन ऑफ वन बाय जेड माइनस वन इक्वल टू जीरो सो दिस वी नो दैट एनालिटिक फंक्शंस आर इंटीग्रल डोमेन सो इंटीग्रल डोमेन वट एपन्स इन इंटीग्रल डोमेन इफ एक्स इन टू वाई इज जीरो आइडर एक्स इज जीरो और वाई इज जीरो ओके दिस इज द स्टैंडर्ड डेफिनेशन ऑफ इंटीग्रल डोमेन सो इन दिस केस दिस टू फंक्शंस आर एनालिटिक एंड वी नो दैट फॉर एनालिटिक फंक्शन इफ प्रोडक्ट इज जीरो देन आइदर वन ऑफ दिस फंक्शन हैज टू बी जीरो दैट मीन्स आइदर जेड माइनस टू इज जीरो और साइन ऑफ वन अपॉन जेड माइनस वन इज जीरो इफ जेड माइनस वन इक्वल टू जीरो मीन्स वॉट जेड इक्वल्स टू टू सो टू इज वन ऑफ द जीरो सिमिलरली साइन ऑफ वन बाय जेड माइनस वन इक्वल टू जीरो मीन्स वॉट वन अपॉन जेड माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू एन पाए ओके बिकॉज एट एन पाए एट एन पाए एंगल साइन वैनिशेस ना सो फॉर एवरी एन बिलोंग्स टू इंटीजर अगेन इफ वन अपॉन जेड माइनस वन इक्वल्स टू एन पाए देन वॉट कैन बी जेड माइनस वन देन जेड माइनस वन बिकम्स वन अपॉन एन पाए सो इफ आई लुक एट जेड जेड इज नथिंग बट वन अपॉन एन पाए प्लस वन सी लिमिट पॉइंट वी हैव टू फाइंड ना सो प्लस ट्राई टू फाइंड लिमिट पॉइंट इफ आई अप्रोचेज दिस एज एन टेंस टू इन्फिनिटी दिस लिमिट विल बी वन मीन्स वॉट वन इज ए लिमिट पॉइंट ऑफ वॉट लिमिट पॉइंट ऑफ जीरो ओके सो वन इज लिमिट पॉइंट ऑफ जीरो दिस इज इंडीड करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज इंटेड सो वी गॉट बी एंड डी आर करेक्ट अप टिल नाउ ओके सो दिस इज एम एस क्यू ओके इट हैज मल्टीपल सिलेक्शंस एनी वे नाउ इट इज रिमेनिंग टू वेरीफाई ऑप्शन नंबर सी और सी वॉट दे आर सेंग इन ऑप्शन नंबर सी जेड इक्वल टू वन इज आइसोलेटेड इसेंशियल सिमिलरिटी बट सी वेन डू वी से फंक्शन हैज आइसोलेटेड इसेंशियल सिमिलरिटी इफ इट इज अ लिमिट पॉइंट ऑफ जीरो ओके इफ इट इज लिमिट पॉइंट ऑफ जीरो इज एन दिस द लिमिट पॉइंट ऑफ जीरो इज एन दिस वन इज अ लिमिट पॉइंट ऑफ जीरो ऑफकोर्स यस जस्ट वी हैव प्रूव सो जेड इक्वल टू वन इज लिमिट पॉइंट ओके ऑफ जीरो एंड दैट्स वाई सी ऑप्शन हैज टू बी ऑल्सो करेक्ट ओके सो इफ आई लुक एट दप्शन करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी बी सी एंड डी ओके सो दीज आर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन ऑल राइट नाउ लेट्स ट्राई टू मूव एड एंड ट्राई टू लुक एट वट इज अवर नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम ओके दिस इज अगेन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम नंबर थर्ड ओके दिस इज अवर प्रॉब्लम नंबर थर्ड वट दे हैव गिवन वी हैव गिवन नाइस फंक्शन एफ जेड इक्वल्स टू जेड कोसेक जेड ऑल राइट दिस इज द फंक्शन दे हैव गिवन एंड दे आर ट्राइंग टू आस विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज और आर इट मे बी वन और इट मे बी मोर देन वन मीन्स वॉट दिस इज अगेन एम एस क्यू टाइप क्वेश्चन ओके इट इट कैन हैव मल्टीपल आंसर्स नाउ लेट्स लुक एट द ऑप्शन द पोल्स ऑफ एफ जेड आर एट जेड इक्वल्स टू एन पाए इन सेकेंड ऑप्शन दे आव गिवन जेड इक्वल्स टू इन्फिनिटी इज ए नॉन आइसोलेटेड इसेंशियल द पोल्स ऑफ एफ जेड आर एट जीरो एंड जेड इक्वल्स टू इन्फिनिटी इज द लिमिट पॉइंट ऑफ द पोल्स ओके लेट्स टू वेरीफाई ऑप्शन वन बाय वन तो फर्स्ट वट दे हैव गिवन एफ जेड इक्वल्स टू जेड कोसेक जेड और राइट दिस इज द फंक्शन दे हैव गिवन नाउ लेट्स लुक एट द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन पोल्स ऑफ एफ जेड नाउ फॉर पोल्स वी रिक्वायर डिनोमिनेटर ओके वट वी वट डू वी डू वी इक्वायर डिनोमिनेटर इक्वल्स टू जीरो वट एवर सोल्यूशन वी गॉट वी कंसिडर दोज टू बी सिमिलरिटी ओके सो लेट्स ट्राई टू वेरीफाई बट देखो इफ इफ यू लुक एट दिस फंक्शन एफ जेड यू विल सी देर इज नो डिनोमिनेटर इन दिस फंक्शन सो लेट्स ट्राई टू राइट दिस कोसेक इन टू वन बाय साइन सो वन बाय साइन मीन्स वॉट 
एफ जेड बिकम झेड अपॉन साइन झेड ओके तो एफ जेड इज आवर झेड अपॉन साइन झेड ना वॉट विल वी डू विल इक्वेट दिस डिनोमिनेटर इक्वल टू झीरो इफ आई इक्वेट साइन झेड इक्वल टू झीरो झेड इज नथिंग बट एन पार्ट फॉर एवरी एन बिलोंग्स टू इंटीजर्स ओके सो दीज आर द सिमिलरिटीज नाउ आर दे पोल्स सिंगुलरिटी वी गॉट झेड इक्वल टू एन पार्ट दीज आर सिंगुलरिटीज बट आर दिस पोल्स लेट्स ट्राई टू लुक एट इफ आई लुक एट लिमिट झेड टेन्स टू एन पाई एफ झेड ओके इफ इट टर्न्स आउट बी फाइनाइट विल से रिमोवेबल इफ इट टर्न्स आउट बी इन इन्फिनी विल से इट इज पोल सो इफ आई ट्राई टू लुक एट दिस लिमिट झेड टेन्स टू एन पाई ऑफ झेड अपॉन साइन झेड नॉट इट इज एन पाई अपॉन साइन एन पाई एन पाई इज अ नॉन जीरो ओके फॉर नॉन जीरो एन एन साइन एन पाई इज ऑलवेज जीरो दिस इज इन्फिनी ओके सो वी गॉट लिमिट टू बी इन्फिनी मीन्स वॉट पोल सो झे एट झेड इक्वल्स टू एन पाई एफ झेड हैज पोल दिस फर्स्ट ऑप्शन हैज टू बी करेक्ट ओके नेक्स्ट ट्राई टू लुक एट सेकेंड ऑप्शन एट इन्फिनी नॉन आइसोलेट इज एसेंशियल सो लेट्स ट्राई टू वेरीफाई एट इन्फिनी वॉट एपन एट इन्फिनी वी हैव स्टडीड दैट एट इफ लिमिट पॉइंट ऑफ डिनोमिनेटर ओके लिमिट पॉइंट ऑफ पोल्स ओके इफ लिमिट पॉइंट ऑफ पोल्स वॉट एवर द नंबर देन दैट नंबर इज कॉल्ड वॉट वी कॉल्ड नॉन आइसोलेटेड इसेंशियल ओके सो लेट्स ट्राई टू लुक एट वॉट इज द लिमिट पॉइंट ऑफ पोल्स तो पोल्स हाउ मच वी गॉड पोल्स आर एन पाई एंड वॉट इज द लिमिट ऑफ एन पाई लिमिट ऑफ एन टेंस टू इन्फिनी ऑफ एन पाई इज वॉट इन्फिनी मीन्स वॉट लिमिट पॉइंट ऑफ पोल्स ओके दिज आर द पोल्स लिमिट ऑफ लिमिट पॉइंट ऑफ पोल्स इज इन्फिनी एंड इन्फिनी इज कॉल्ड नॉन आइसोलेटेड इसेंशियल सो दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट ओके नेक्स्ट इज पोल्स ऑफ एफ जेड एट जीरो सो लेट्स ट्राई टू लुक एट वेरीफाई एट जीरो वॉट एपन्स एट जीरो सी वेन डू बी से फंक्शन हैज अ पोल एट पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट इफ लिमिट जेड टेंस टू वॉट एवर दैट नंबर एफ जेड इज इक्वल टू इन्फिनी लेट्स ट्राई टू वेरीफाई whether at z0 equal to 0 answer turns to be uh, turns out to be infinity or not okay what will we do simply find the limit as z tends to 0 of fz fz is z upon sin z okay so but what it is this is nothing but one but we are not going to get infinity so if it is not infinity then it cannot be pole okay therefore it is finite number so what happens at finite number we have seen in definition also if limit z tends to z0 fz is finite then what do we call we call z0 to be removable singularity isn't it so we are not going to get z0 uh, equal to 0 is pole okay so this is incorrect because we are going to get z0 is removable singularity okay not pole let's try to verify our last option so if i look at carefully z0 is a limit point of poles is it yes we have seen limit point of poles okay what are the pole n part and it is indeed infinity okay so z equals to infinity is a limit point of the poles okay so if i look at the correct options so what are the correct options correct options will be what let me write here a b and d okay a b and d okay so this was the last question i guess yeah so hopefully uh, you like this video if you haven't like our uh, if you haven't subscribe our channel and definitely i will recommend you uh, to subscribe our channel okay and thank you all for watching this session thank you